I'm Allison Stolpa here at the Minneapolis worldwide premiere of Popery with the director Elliot Davini. Hi, Elliot. Hi, how are you? Great. Hi, I'm uh, Elliot Pants Davini. I did the website design. Uh, I was told it was customary to wear a neon tuxedo to a film premiere in my town, but just looking around, I'm beginning to get the impression that I was grossly misinformed. Hi, I'm here with Brandon. He plays Frankie and is also one of the producers of the film. How are you tonight? I'm great. We have a great film to show here, and it was supposed to be released, what, three, four months ago? But yeah. Worth the wait. Worth the wait, yet. I'll take the blame on the wait, because we all need a bad guy. <laughs> Anywho, we had an amazing cast and crew, everyone from Elliot the Writer, Director, Kaiser, our lead star, uh, Mike Borka, Shannon McDonough, Ponyvus Boy, Brett Staria, Janelle Kidd, Matt Feeney, Gary Keast, these guys knocked it out of the park. I'm here with Gary, is that right? And you play Agent Kilgore with a Z-E-A. You could probably guess one of the actors that I would have based it on with the big gun, Clint Eastwood. You can't do that yet. You gotta read them their rights. I just did. I'm here with Ryan Kaiser, who is Noah, aka homeschooled in the film. Hi. Hello. So, I'm just wondering, what were the thoughts going through your mind when you first read this script? Did you know what you were getting into? When I first read the script, it was, uh, it, it's, it's so experimental, no, like, I, I, no, I didn't know what I was getting into exactly. Hi, I'm here with Poonavith and Brent, who play Perry and Will. How are you guys tonight? Oh, doing awesome, awesome. So, did you guys know what you were getting into with this movie? It's just so outlandish, you never know what's going to happen next. Uh, the truth was, I had actually no clue what I was getting into. When I read the script, I was actually very confused on what, what was going on. Confused, yes, but I knew it was going to be fun. You know, as far as the script went, it was just fun. To complete the first word, I would have to complete the first syllable. To complete the first syllable, I would have to complete the first letter. To complete the first letter, I would have... I know Brandon and Elliot and the guys, and uh, they asked me to do it, and I looked it over, read the script, and uh, didn't understand a f***ing word of it. Uh, it seemed a, a convoluted mess, and I said, yeah, it just sounds like the project I want to do. Uh, I've now gone up to them and told them that they're not allowed to do a movie without me. Uh, it was brilliant. It's instantly become one of my top three films, so wonderful, wonderful job. Amazing, amazing everything. Now you, Marnie, you, uh, you wrote a, uh, a poem. Uh, Perhaps it's a rap here, I don't know, some catchy little tune. Oh my god, I have to answer questions now. How do I look? Is, there anything, is it popcorn in my teeth? You've got a big focus on music in yeah. this film. You are like the musical girl here. How did this come about? What's your background? Oh, good lord. Well, um, pretty much I, I had a choice between uh, Emma's role and Marnie's role. And I emailed Brandon back and I was just like, I really like both parts. And uh, being with Emma, I have the experience getting pulled over for DUIs. <laughs> And I also have the, the musical experience. Uh, I've, I've been with bands, I've done musical theater in the past. And anyway, well, since you can sing, why don't we put you in as Marnie? And ba-bam, there we were. I played Preston Fenwick in the film Potpourri. Uh, it was probably December of 2009. I received an email from Brandon Van Vliet saying that um, Elliot Davini wanted me to appear as a small part of Preston Fenwick in his film. So I read the script and really enjoyed it and thought it was something really fun that I've never done before. Something that kind of has so much, uh, so many different angles and stuff to the film. So I really in, uh, enjoyed it. So I'm like, yeah, I'll well, be in it, sure. He's the one that looks like he's too good for me. He's an idiot. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> My name is Kareem Wazwaz. I'm an actor, writer, producer here in the Twin Cities. This film's a blast. You guys are really gonna enjoy this. A lot of fun, a lot of twists and turns. I'm not gonna spoil it more than I am right now, but um, you're really gonna love this. And uh, a lot of fun making it. And it turned out great. Get ready for a roller coaster and um, hold on tight, right? Um, a lot of emails, a lot of text messages, cell phone calls, a lot of lies and manipulation. Boom. Uh, I'm also wondering, you know, there's 
so many crazy different interludes in this movie. We've got musicals, we've got special effects. Um, what all goes into coordinating all the different elements of something on this scale with all these different crazy genres? Um, it's, it's sort of finding a good effects guy, a good, a good sound person, a good camera person, and then most of it you figure out in post-production. What was it like acting with an invisible singing book? <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's what I've been telling everybody because they keep coming up to me going, oh my god, that was my favorite scene, the scene with you in the library. I went, okay, it was like the hardest scene of my career to shoot. All right, girl has issues learning her left and right. I literally have to do this to remember my left and right. So they're going, okay, now look right. Wait, no, come on. And I would, I kept messing up the shots because I couldn't remember what left and right were. Shooting it was a wonderful experience. Watching it was an even greater experience. I just love the way that that Elliot wrote it. It was so much fun to dive into, and I was very impressed with the film and the different, the special effects, the music. I thought was so cool. It was just hilarious, and I loved how the the film kind of made fun of itself too. Who wants to go see some dumb independent movie from Minnesota, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Things are good. Things are great. I'm blessed. Well, that's very exciting, and good luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's your name? Allison Silva. Allison, yes. Ryan, good to see you. And I hope all of you can come with us to the after party. Yeah. Woo! Woo! I party. Hopefully you guys party. Let's go have a drink together. I party, but hey. <laughs> Okay, yeah, thank you everyone, and without further ado, I give you Hot Tub Time. Wait, what movie is this? Oh, without further ado, I give you Potpourri. Thank you. Yeah!